What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to do a little vial lash testing or uh, lifter clearance for the BQ37. So according to the manual, uh, there's a cold procedure and a hot procedure for this. Uh, we're going to be doing the cold procedure for obvious reasons, but <clears throat> uh, there's the intake side, which is all the way across here. It's a lot more. That's kind of the intimidating side. Intimidating looking anyway. And this is the exhaust side. So what we're going to do is... a. Uh, even though these all these lobes look really good, look spotless, like polished pretty much, uh, we're still gonna go ahead and check uh, the clearance on them. So I have a ten thousandths, uh, ten thousandths pulled out. Let me get, let me get the the next size up. Uh, the exhaust side is actually. Uh, between eleven thousandths and fifteen thousandths cold, so we'll pull out a fifteen. Let's see, do we have an eleven? No, we don't. <clears throat> um, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do twelve and fifteen. So, uh, what you want to do is basically turn the lobe pointing 180 degrees from the lifter. This is a silo lifter engine, so uh, you need a 19 millimeter for the, the crank bolt. So we have our 12 and our 15. So what we'll do is we'll use the 15 first and just real gently get behind there the best angle you can and just stick it flat on the lifter and I mean you don't have to push hard this is the 15, the 15 is not going in check this other side here see the 15 does not go in so we'll go to the 12 try out the 12 12 thousandths and the 12 does go in so, goes in that one. If it goes in this one, yes, it does. Barely. Barely goes in this one. So, this one is right at, we'll say, 13 thousandths. This one's exactly 12 thousandths. So we'll uh, we'll start again with the the fifteen. Stick it under here. Fifteen doesn't go in that one. Does not go in that one. Let's try the twelve. Twelve goes in that one in that one too. It's probably uh we'll pull out another one just to see the exact clearance. I think my set has a uh might have a 13 and a 14. Yeah it does. Yeah the 13 12 13 14 15 in this set so we'll go with yeah we'll go ahead and go up to 14 just to see 
14 thousandths. Doesn't go in that one. Doesn't go in that one. So it's probably going to be 13. Yeah, it barely goes in that one. Same with that, barely goes into that one. So that one, both of those are uh, 13. This engine has. Alright, let's try the 15 right out the gate on these two. Fifteen, no go. This is a little harder to get to, but see if I can make it happen here. step back down to the 12. 12 will go around that turn a little easier. Yep, 12 does go, so between 12 and 15. So that's the exhaust side. We know all of our uh, our valve clearances are good on our exhaust can. Yeah, the best way I, f I found uh, <clears throat> to pretty much find uh, intake uh, rockers to get them all the way uh, all the way back it's hard to tell by eye uh, so I use a little pizza plate and uh, run my indicator on it and find this this one goes over here just use uh, some of your upper plenum bolts and it, you know, if you don't have this, I mean, there's there's a bunch of ways to do it, but run these down, just touch them off. But yeah, I just use this plate to hold down this piece, and uh, I can put my indicator on it. situate the camera here. Intake side here. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of hard to get to, but... Yeah, just about any spot you can really get to, to where you can find a, uh, you can find a zero. See if I can do it this way. I mean, it doesn't have to be this precise, but we're just trying to land on some part of that arm. 
pretty much until it stops. I might have to re. I think I have to re uh, situate it. Let's try. Let's try here. As long as that number's still going. about to stop. You can see, kind of see the number slowing down. Right there. <clears throat> now you know that's basically that rocker arm is all the way in the all the way in the up position which uh, should give you your clearance on that. Between that uh, the rocker lobe and the uh, lifter. So we'll try the maximum, which is uh, 15. Or no, was it? Yeah, it was 11 to 13. Or 10 to 13, sorry. 10, 13. Let's see how this one goes. Thirteen barely goes in there, so that one's exactly thirteen. This one thirteen don't quite go. Throw the ten in there just to make sure it's not too tight. Yeah, we're good to go on that one. It's just so I don't have to waste a bunch of video time and your time. You know, you you pretty much just rinse and repeat. You know, you move your, uh, if you're using an indicator here, you just move it down to the next one. I'd have to resituate your bolts if this is the way you want to do it. You know, I'm sure other people do it uh, different, but <clears throat> yeah, I'll just swap over once here. this is just to hold it down, the mag base, because obviously everything on this motor just about is aluminum, so move it over here. Something like that. Move this over here. Something like that. Let's see if I can make this one a little quicker. And it doesn't matter, like, oh, when the hole, let's see. And it doesn't matter where you're, you know, you don't have to zero. Because as long as you're going positive, oh, it's almost there. it right there stopped ten and thirteen thirteen does it go in that one does it go in that one A ten yeah ten does let's try a middle one just for the heck of it. Let's try a 12. 12 goes in that one. Not quite that one. So this one, this one is uh, 12 thousandths. This one's 11 thousandths. You, uh, might as well go ahead and do the last one. Might as well. See if I can move my mag base without moving the plate. 
Let's see how this goes. close. That's it. It stopped. Yeah, you can do it in easier ways, but I like doing it this way because this is I mean, there's no rush in building these, so let's see, try 13 first. There's no rush in building these. 13 don't fit. 13 don't fit. So, I mean, might as well do it the most accurate way possible, you know? Can does fit? Does fit? Try 12. Barely fit in that one. Doesn't quite fit in that one, so twelve thousandths, eleven thousandths. So that's a that's a quick how-to. Um, all of these all of these lifters um, are spring buckets, lifters, lifter buckets, depending on who you talk to, but um, Nissan makes these in uh, incremental sizes, and I want to say there's something like uh, 0 0.002 millimeter increments. So if you measure one and it's, I mean, I'm, I'm measuring the clearances uh, with standard measurements, but if you measure a clearance and it, say it's, you know, 0 0.002 millimeters off, you can get your bucket. Uh, measure with a OD micrometer or if it has a number on it you can cross reference it and you can get the next size up or two sizes up whatever you need to get you in that uh, clearance range so that's pretty much a quick how-to on that so yeah thanks for watching guys take it easy